Guys, this is Asunox. I'm on the Europe server on my third account. Let's do a guild war. And uh, I have Arbor of Vildred. He's on Alexa's basket. Let's see if it actually does trigger. I did an arena PvP video and it, I mean, it went pretty well. The procs were good and that was a lot of fun. So let's, uh, let's see if it does trigger here. We'll see who I can attack. We're fighting. We are fighting Oni Buzoku. So over seven hours left. Havoc, we're a bit below them. Difference of 200 Havoc. Let's see if I can uh, help us. We should work on this fortress. This player, this player is actually in legend or high champion. I see him all the time, uh, so I don't think we can actually destroy this fortress. Like, that's some pretty uh, solid defenses right there. They are working on the Red Hammer Fortress. This is not looking good for us. They're working on Salvation, I'm, I'm defending that. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got. Cause I mean, he's got like 20 HP. Uh, the the player that's standing until we reach the fortress has 20 HP, so that's not gonna give me much havoc. I need to go for full HP or 80 HP. Especially, s well, we kind of need to down it if we want to access the fortress. But I don't feel like we're gonna down it. That that player is gonna be uh, pretty rough. This player I could attack, could tank that, round two, just gonna pop this, uh, this violet, okay, I'll look at uh, these uh, group compositions, I'll see who I can attack, and I'll get w back to you guys, something else I noticed, we only have 20 attacks left, so, yeah, That guild is rank 19, we are rank 18. Now yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna attack this player. That's the, formi uh, the formation I'm going with. Round two is gonna be easy, I can just tank the damage and I mean, take him out. Round one though, that's the issue. Valid, if he gets his uh, passive going, and there's Cartuja as well, so there's going to be a lot of evasion going on. Arbiter Vildred might be in the struggles. Um, his because uh, if I attack one target, let's say I go, I go for Angelica or Assassin Cartuja, the second attack of skill one might hit Violet, and he's going to counter. So, yeah. But I have Aureus, I have Defense Buff, I have Angelic Momorancy to uh, heal. Constantly, we'll see how it goes. Alexa's basket. Maybe I just use Crow to kill Violet. Now there is an issue here. Is I should have brought a Katis actually, because I kind of want to have Crow attack the whole time so he can actually use his uh, skill three. So that that's a prime. No Alexa's basket yet. I mean Violet, he he did his thing right. So. Let's see here, I'm gonna attack Angelica. So you see, he can counter me. His damage is not that high, but now Assassin Cartuja is coming for defense down. Gotta clear that stuff up. Let's, uh, let's get this uh, defense buff going. It's all about keeping Arbiter Vildred al alive. And I need to keep his HP higher than the rest of the group, so he's not the one being targeted. The prime is when counter attack is gonna happen with Violet, he will lower Arbiter a lot, and then he uh, he's just gonna go for him again. No Lux's basket triggered. This is gonna be really rough. I should definitely have brought Akatis. I, I don't know why I brought Angelic. 
I felt like Akates might not be able to keep up with the the spell. No. Since I have defense buff, I will go for it. I should have done this before. So I take reduced damage now. Oh, here's the greater attack. But if he counters, he's gonna take me out. At least I have another life. Oh, okay, she's uh, she's in the struggles to uh, to heal. If I get crowd to, to get lowered, like if I just use S three. On uh, Arbiter, I could make it happen. Let's push her combat readiness back. So Arbiter, even if I land asleep, it doesn't work. What I can do is, uh... oh, never mind. He went. I wanted to trigger his evasion. Well, good. Car 2 just being targeted. That's enough. I can kill Angelica. Job's done. She was going to die, though. Now, by having Crow at a low HP threshold, now Car 2 just working on him. The issue comes here. I need to keep on topping off. Arbor of Vildred. Since I've used a cooldown on Crow. Violet will keep on attacking Ice because he's at the uh, elemental advantage there. Ooh! I don't have, I don't have skill 3. Look at these buffs, though! Oh my god. Okay. That's good, man. Like, it, it's been proccing quite a bit. It's plus uh, 30, by the way. Let's, uh... Whatever, let's just go with that. Didn't proc. Now what I can do is just wait until it does proc and then I can soul burn S3. That's unfortunate I'm forced to attack. No attack buff. That's how I would prefer to do it. Like, I mean if I know I'm not gonna die but I mean he's about to die here. Let's just wait, maybe I get the, uh, I get it to, to happen, like, uh, the attack buff. Nope, anyways. Let's just soul burn S3 and be done here. Even if it doesn't crit, I think he's dead. I mean, if he does evade. Wow. Not even. Really close, though. Wow. Maybe I should have healed. Never mind. And that was a long one. This one at least doesn't have any sustain. Ooh, Alexis Basket on Vildred. They're going for that RNG as well. Yeah, my uh, foreign Cecilia has. Uh, a lot of effectiveness. I'll show my gear at the end of the video. You know what? I don't actually... Yeah, I need to do it. Because I want this heal nullifier. 
which will get removed pretty much right away. Actually, never mind. She's gonna do the counter now. Prefer to take Vildred out first. Not much damage gonna come out of this. She's not set up as a bruiser anymore. She does have Elbrus, it's just that she doesn't have the offensive stat that she had before. No, just double, uh, double tap it, it's gonna heal Ken. Let's get her under control. Nice crit there, she's out. Uh, that was a quick one. Now I'm gonna have to find out who the second player will be that, that I'm gonna attack. Celestine, healing for 4,000 something. And S1 does heal with uh, Celestine, it's quite a bit of healing. And my, my heroes, they have very high HP as well, so def that definitely helps. All right, let me find my next opponent, I'll be back. Okay, that's the second player that I'm gonna attack. That's my offense that I set up. I, I'm really scared about ML Akates plus Bloodblade Karen. Like, I, I'm not bringing Arbiter Vildred in there. Like, he, he's gonna get double tapped. Like, he's gonna die from her S3, she's gonna get an extra turn and kill him again with S1. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm just gonna tank it and take him out slowly. I feel like Angelic Momoran C plus 4 and Cecilia can pull through. Can I might need to soul burn S2 uh, and 2S3 or just actually S3 by itself can kill Bloodied Karen. The issue is comes down to if I start focusing her down, they stay alive and ML Akates uses S3. Um, is it S3 that does the buff for uh, invincibility uh, and the attack buff or actually it's uh, invulnerability plus two random buffs something like that so I think I'm gonna attack ML uh, I mean just Ravi and bait that uh, that buff and then switch to uh, BBK so I'll try that out round one I feel like Arbiter Vildred can survive that I mean he might die and then like he's gonna come back to life it's yeah it could be rough it could be rough well let's find out with uh, Aureus defense buff a bit of uh, HP memory imprint he could be able to uh, I mean he should be able to survive the Sina goes before Krau so she can clear debuff and then Never mind. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. I can. Well, even if I actually. Okay, wait. I don't know. I'll just boost Crow and then S2. Well, our survival just went up that way. Yeah, Alexa's basket triggered, but unable to be buff debuff. Rip. Let's uh, let's S three here. Do some damage. It's not enough. Oh God. Crit buff. I just feel like he's gonna die another time. Oh my god! The damage on that. 
<clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> I feel like I need to just. I'm gonna S3 with Crow, Pop, Seaside, and I'll just S1 Vivian now. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take her down. And also deal some damage to Crimson Armin. Okay, let's heal up now. That's a lot of debuffs. We gotta take her out. do anything wait do I have the defense buff okay I do have it I'll just apply it now oh great could have waited I was thinking that though like maybe I should have waited two turns yeah let's just go with s1 Get this thing. Let's finish this thing. My god. Slow, but uh, it works. Lost Arbiter Vildred in the process, though. Okay, this one. I said I'm going on Ravi. Oh, she's pretty squishy. You can't go back. Let's check the damage here. Nah, uh, nothing crazy. Okay, let's keep on working on Ravi. Oh, still, I'm going on her. She's got defense down. Okay, well, she's the one getting resurrected. I can just uh, just, just work on uh, Akatis for now. Uh, Ravi, she doesn't have full uh, fighting spirit. But you know what? I could, I could just sleep her. Ah, there you go. Let's take her out. Oh, not gonna do it. I'm gonna miss with S3. That's what's gonna happen. Maybe I sleep her. It's been working out so well. Just sleep, 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 don't stop. Oh, really? Okay, she's dead. Let's see if I can keep on provoking her. Cause she did resist before. I have 140% effectiveness. Slept. Provoked. 
provoked. Oh, she's dead. Okay. Now the third battle. No Arbor Vildred. Let's see uh, who I'm going to be fighting. I'll, uh, I'll look for, for my uh, opponent. Okay, next opponent is uh, this player. They don't have sustain. So that's my strength that's going against players that don't have sustain or maybe just one team uh, without sustain. It's, it's faster too because like there might not be uh, so many players in, uh, in my guild that could outspeed some of these players. Maybe they, uh, they, they just can't tank that damage. So on uh, on round one, well, I lost Arbiter Vildred. I'm going to double Cecilia's fire Cecilia. I mean, she's not gonna have any problem against Vildred, even if defense down does drop. Angelic Momorancy, she's running like 150 effect resistance, something of the sort. Fallen Cecilia, well, she's she's tanky, she's tanky, so they'll eventually just die. Round two is extremely tanky. It's gonna be rough. It, it's so much damage, but I'm baiting different elements. So Destina is gonna tank Kron, uh, is gonna tank Violet, and Seaside Bellona is gonna attack Ken. So I'm spreading all their damage. There's gonna be some AOE. So if I don't deal with any of them fast enough, well, there's gonna be Kron that uh, that's gonna start cleaving on skill one. That's definitely gonna be rough, especially with defense down from Seaside Bellona from her passive. But what I'm trying to do here is just survive up until Krau gets to a low amount of HP. At that point, I can S3 and one-shot Seaside Bellona. Uh, Kron, I can take him out with Ken. I could, I mean, I could try to work on Violet early on. Maybe I get lucky and he doesn't evade, but let, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Everyone's in position for memory imprint. So uh, let's let's get in there and see what happens. Their cleave is not gonna do much damage. Okay, triple defense down. Let's see how much it hurts. Oh, they got defense down on my Angelic Morancy. That's pretty solid. Okay, well, Fawn Cecilia is killing on a fire. Definitely super helpful. Let's potentially provoke some heroes. This might hurt. Ah, not so bad. Now on this one, let's just take out the defense down. So S2. Okay, let me just uh, try to down Vildred, or at least provoke, it's not bad. I just S1. There we go, dual attack. I'm thinking of trading uh, Arbor of Vildred for uh, ML can. It just makes so much sense. Because I'm farming Golem 11. Can I can make him uh, pretty tanky. Tanky enough for him to survive like a lot of the uh, group compositions in, uh, in Arena. So he, I can use him on my defense. I can use him on my offense. And the way I want to build him is I, I want to just not put any crit chance on him and just have the passive land as critical hits so i can get like a ton of crit damage i can get a ton of uh, hp i mean I, a decent amount of hp and some attack he also gets like attack buff from himself he can land the fans down there's that plus skill ups his skill too the lower his uh, hp is at the more damage it does and I do have uh, Sigurd Sight, so that's another big thing there. I'm gonna have to work on effect resistance on him. 
maybe not early on, but later on, I'm gonna have to, uh, well, have quite a bit of it. I could just run him on immunity early on with, uh, well, it could be, it could be immunity attack, it could be immunity HP, HP, something like that. But it just feels like it's, Arbor of Vildred doesn't fit in the, ty the type of team compositions that I'm running. Be it on offense, be it on defense. With the gear that I form, the way that I like make my group compositions, Arbor of Vildred can be used in so many different areas of the game, right? But I, I can do fine with the rest of my roster to deal with that stuff. Thing is, martial artists can, I can also use him in multiple areas of the game depending on how I build him. Okay, let's let's just focus on this thing. Maybe I should just work on Seaside. Kiron, if I just if I go for him, Ken cannot do it by himself. At least he's going right after this. I'm not gonna be getting the speed buff anyways. I could land the fans down though. Yeah. Since uh Let me gamble this thing. Okay, never mind. Well that's another debuff for him to get the uh, combat readiness with the heal from Destina S3. But I'm gonna have to wait for Crow. That's the problem. I should have attacked the uh, Seaside with Ken and used S3 with Crow on her. And I should have checked how much HP she has. Because the big damage is coming. Kron has attack buff. He's about to use S1 on us. Yeah, I have to buy time. I have to buy time. Let me S2 with Crow get the fans buff on the group. And at the same time, I could push back Seaside. Yeah, she's definitely the biggest threat because, I mean, she can apply the fans down, the unhealable, and. And able to be buff debuff definitely annoying. Oh man. That, that defense break on Ken. Okay, it's not so bad. Oh my god, never mind. Let me heal Ken. Push him ahead. Pop C side with Crow. If she's not dead, Ken's gonna well, never mind. She's low enough. She's gonna die. Lend a stun on Kron. So he uh, he get, gets the invincibility to trigger. Well, immortality. Oh my God! Not even. But it will trigger now. <clears throat> she should die. Oh my God! Nothing's working out. Nothing's working, at least he's stunned. But he, it triggered his uh, immortality. Now I can finish him off. Well, actually, I can just attack Seaside and he's gonna die. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's funny, the way that he died. I, like, it felt like he wasn't taking damage and he was just standing there and then, like, everything happened. Uh, just grind Violet now. Yeah, my heroes are super tanky. And I have one memory imprint unlocked on each one of these heroes. And this is my trio for arena offense. And uh, Ken's not part of my defense right now. I'm testing uh, Fawn Cecilia with Arbor of Vildred, Crow, and Destina. Seems to be doing alright. 
I'll show my stats real quick. I'm not gonna show all my gear. Hmm, maybe I should. Cause if I recall Arbiter Vildred, I kind of want to like showcase him properly, like what kind of stats I had. Maybe you haven't checked some of my uh, previous videos, first time viewer or something like that. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking ML Ken, martial artist Ken, would definitely fit with uh, the rest of my heroes, cause I'm confident he can do very well on my arena defense and the Guild War defense. So there's that. You see Ken, I really like Ken, he's plus 15. I just need ML Ken to complete the... <laughs> complete that. And also, like, he gives a decent amount of morale uh, in Raids and Labyrinth. And there's a group composition that I can run. It's Martial Artist Ken, Ken, Akates, and Chaos Ax. And that gives me, like... I can't quite remember. It's only 30 morale, but I can just use that for my final run. Well, that's normal Labyrinth. It's not an issue because I can already clear it, though, but... Like, maybe Hell. It's not as good as, of course, Judge Kise gives so much morale in the, when you camp in the, the, the lab and raids, but she doesn't fit my the way I, I build my heroes on this account. I want a hero that I can use in offense and on defense. Dark Corvus was the the answer initially, but I could use him on Guild War defense. It's just he has to be built differently. And he's not he's not really good on defense. He can be He can work around him, you know. Alright, I didn't use her. He's mostly for offense. And since I might be using two uh, Nat 5 Moonlight heroes for a really long time after this, my choice, like, I, I have to be careful with the choice that I, I, mean, I choose. So, yeah, that's the plan right now. But I can, uh, I can wait a few days, still brainstorm on this whole thing. But ML can just does feel right for my account. Because... Yeah, I, I can gear him just fine. I don't know exactly what kind of gear I'm going to put, but there are so many different builds for him. I can go like really high offense, but it should be a mix, like balance his stats so he can actually survive in arena and be a threat on defense. And on offense, he can deal some, some great damage there too. And uh, I could bait some attacks into him so he can keep on counter attacking, stuff like that. Gonna have to keep thinking about it. It's definitely not an easy choice. Arbiter Vildred is definitely very powerful, even after the nerf. Alex's basket is, is quite random, though. But he, I don't feel like he fits my team. It's just I have to do some more testing and think about it. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, uh, <laughs> Master Nox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts. Arena, Guild Wars, Guys, Sips, and Altus, and Abyss Royce 62+. Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And also join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to cleave this. I don't really use Oxlots. Like... That's not the way I play on this account. I did increase his speed a bit uh, today, actually, so that was that was not bad. But that's not how I do it. Like I can't I can't run this. I can't cleave like this in arena. The comps that I'm facing, the, they're gonna be either faster or they're just gonna be able to tank this damage. Uh, to be able to cleave their comp, I would need Judge Kise or use multiple heroes and uh, like cleave setup, and I would need to like really grind speed, and that was not the point of this account but anyways that's really it for this one thanks again for watching peace out for now and good luck with all you do in the game